Good morning, this is Simon Browning, and in this video I am going to demonstrate with Typo3 on a multilingual website creating new pages by duplicating existing pages. A couple of things we have to take into account, and a couple of troubleshooting things we can look at if we run into any problems. So I'm currently looking at the AVW Telav website, which is an English and French website. Clicking on the language selector on any page gives you the French language version or the English language version of that page. Let's go through to permanent installations and then to case studies. And let's flip to English again. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change, uh, actually we're going to create a duplicate of this Greater Toronto Airport Authority case study. Why duplicate as opposed to creating a new page? Well, it's got all the content elements on it we already want. It's already got text with a picture and some text elements and we can just duplicate the page and change our text as opposed to creating a new page and placing new elements. So to do this I need to log into the back end and I've already done that and I'm just going to flip windows here. So you can see I've logged in and I'm in page view here and down our page tree here we have the installation case studies section and there's that Greater Toronto Airport Authority page and to duplicate it I'm just going to click on the page icon and click the copy button and then I'm going to click on the page icon again and click the paste after button and it's going to ask me do you want to make a copy I'm going to say OK and page tree refreshes and we now have a copy of that page which is hidden by default which is great and we can't see it here but on the end it would actually say copy one so let's actually look at that I'm going to click on the page icon here and I'm going to click the edit page properties icon and we can see our page title here Greater Toronto Airport Authority copy one for demonstration purposes let's just change this to Simon's copy of We'll leave it hidden because I don't want this page to show up on the website. And let's save and close that page. Now, so we've created a new page and we've changed the English language version of its name, but we haven't changed the French language version of its name. So we want to do that because that's what shows up in menus. It shows up in the title area at the top of a page. And it's also used in the generation of the URLs that get to those pages. So let's do this. I'm going to click on the page this time. And so oh, I left it open. We have a tab. When we click on a page, any of these pages we have a tab at the top called localization view and if I click on that localization view tab um, we have a few different things but what I'm interested in is this section called edit page properties and there's two selections here this is an English and language an English and French language website there are two selectors uh, that should ideally be like an English flag or something and that's a French flag um, so if I want to edit the French page properties I click on that icon there and now we have the page properties for the French language version of the page. Notice it's the alternative page language. The language is French. And here's our page title. In green, it's showing me the page title on that English side. So to um, change it, I just change it. For demonstration purposes, we'll just call this Simon's French French copy of. And I save and close. And there we go. Now we've changed the French language version of the page. Another place we can see this is if I were to click on Info View, and then I'm on the page I want, and I go to, uh, in this drop down here, I go to Localization Overview, and we can see the two different uh, titles, the English language version and the French language version. And in fact, if I go up a level, let's go to the Installation Case Studies page, we can see the language, the page titles for all of the pages in this section. And we can see that some of these are duplicated, so I'll go ahead in a second and change those. And through here to change it you really just have to click on this pencil right here you get that French language version and then you can save and close or close and it will take you back to that screen so that's kind of a handy way to change all of the ones in here at once if you find that some of your links aren't working some pages are not linking properly in the multiple language versions it could be that um, the actual URLs themselves got duplicated as well which can happen if you don't change a page name and the URLs get generated that's confusing. I'm going to change this drop down here to speaking URL management and what that will show us is for any particular page, for instance Greater Toronto Airport Authority, um, the actual URLs that are used to bring up that page. You can see for that new page I created they haven't been generated yet. Um, and if I hadn't changed the page name they might have been generated with the original versions. So if you're having a problem, one thing you can do is you can actually come in here and delete these just with trash cans. In fact, I can delete the whole section with a trash can, and they will regenerate themselves. Uh, as long as every page has unique titles, it should be fine. Thank you.